Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. This is Phil Freeman for Gina DeVecchio, and as we take a look at SkyCam 8, the sun is up. And this is looking south from Salinas, and you can see we have several layers of clouds, and the air looks to be pretty clear. Now, right now, at the Salinas Municipal Airport, the temperature is 57 degrees. We are getting the wind out of the southeast at 5 miles per hour. And we look around the area and we see temperatures all in the 50s to 61 at the San Francisco International Airport. As we take a look at the temperatures around the state, well, we have 39 at Lake Tahoe, 60 in Eureka. They're warm because they're feeling the effects of a weather system and they're getting clouds and southerly winds. 67 in Palm Springs, not a whole lot warmer than in Eureka. 70 in San Diego is the warmest currently. As far as the temperatures later today, you can see that autumn is creeping in. We expect a high of 69 degrees under cloudy to partly cloudy skies in Redding, 62 in Lake Tahoe, 93 in Palm Springs, not even close to 100 degrees there. And this is something we have not seen in quite some time, and that is satellite or actually radar imagery. We have radar returns moving into Northern California. Crescent City has been reporting some light rain showers. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to get down here, but we are feeling the effects with the clouds and the very clear air. Here's a bigger view as we pull out over the Pacific. You can see we've been watching this cold front move through the area. This is the last 12 hours and bringing the clouds. And then behind it, though, we do have high pressure, and that's going to create a problem in a few days. This is the situation according to Futurecast, and you can see that we have lots of clouds and we have the rain showers over the northern part of California. That ought to help the Zog fire. And as, it, as we move into the future, you can see on Sunday, by Sunday, tomorrow afternoon, skies are completely clear. And that's not too bad. We'd like to see the rain, but it's not like we're gonna have a strong offshore flow tomorrow. However, according to future cast, by Wednesday night and Thursday morning, we are going to get some strong offshore winds over the northern half of California. And it looks like a repeat for Thursday night and Friday morning. This looks almost identical to uh, Thursday morning. This is Friday morning. So uh, we may see the red flag warnings go up, and uh, it's a very touchy situation. But until Thursday morning, it looks like we're in the clear, so to speak, with regard to uh, strong offshore winds, like we're not going to have any until then. Temperatures today, well, they're going to be about the same as they were yesterday, maybe a little bit cooler, 60s and 70s in the San Francisco Bay Area, 60s and 70s in the Santa Cruz County Area, 60s and 70s from Moss Landing to Gilroy and here in the Salinas Valley, mostly in the 70s, and for the Monterey Bay area, 60s to low 70s. And for the next eight days, we're going to see a warming trend beginning tomorrow. Those strong offshore winds beginning late Wednesday through Thursday and Friday. And uh, temperatures getting up into the low to mid 90s in the inland areas during that period. So we got to be very careful when we start getting to the mid to latter part of this uh, upcoming week. Sure. All right, Phil, thank you. Sure.